I haven't played in a week because I started working out again. And then it got really, 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 really cold, so we stopped, and then TJ got sick. So, here we go. Yeah, all that. So I'm supposed to meet Zoltan <coughs> and Sundown. See if I've got any question marks I can work on. Let's go to the notice board. What was it happened to Falters again? is like right next to my um my goal area Jesus Christ what the freaking hell is going on I don't like you I need to get over here oh interesting crap we'll go around on the other side. <coughs> Sorry. I'll try to keep that down to a dull roar. It's okay, babe. You're dying. Notice what? Here it is. for a minute, wait until it's sundown. I don't think I've meditated in a while. Well, it has been a week. Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> okay. Not character. Probably, um, it's definitely after sun now. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Should stop soon.
gotta mean something I'm sure there's gonna be a test later I feel like I know him I know you maybe a murderer <clears throat> there's a war on some die oh please argue this out elsewhere squabbles and rows again and I was told this was <coughs> If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Capital of the world? The fuck it is? I'm just saying. I like your songs. Uh, this is Priscilla, known also as Calinetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelions told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Uh huh. <clears throat> Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. <laughs> see you later. Coming. There Sing me another song! An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuben's vault. Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. <clears throat> What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. 
Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. I got the paper he's writing to pass a floor at once. I need to wait the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone. Dandelion mentioned their name. No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender woman out of prison. Let me guess. Dallas Dandelion's was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. <laughs> doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literal. God, no. you're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'll be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this horse in first. And Siggy Rubin. Where I might find them. I don't know about Horson, but Riven runs the bathrooms. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. <coughs> I don't doubt him. The dandelions not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, bugger all the dudes here. Okay. I'm gonna walk this way. Sure, talk to yourself, friend. Level 14! Yeah, we're gonna go and stare at that in a second. doesn't open up until 22. This one's 15. Of course it's 15. <clears throat> well, I can at least think about what I want. <clears throat> I can do another. I feel like another green one might be good. <clears throat> That one and this one. So it's gonna be between those two next time. You guys remind me that. Don't forget about that. I'm not gonna. What are you doing? Oh, she's sitting at the door. Yeah. Yeah, she wants us to open the door. Alright, so I'm supposed to go to the bathhouse and talk to Siggy Rubin. You saved? I'm gonna save. <laughs> you 
know, that's my first question, right? Oh, I have to knock. Anybody there? Open up. So you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribes in Oh shit. You don't have a scribe. Uh does she have something? Oh yeah, she fucking has a a mouse. She has a mouse. Deal with that. Okay. Like what the fuck? by the door and I missed all of that so yeah maybe too bad you can't rewind okay so I heard this sound and I wasn't sure if it was the, like one of the dogs sleeping or something no it was the mouse being caught by Lucy and I heard like a little squeak and I'm like holy crap and she comes running through here into uh, the hallway and just a little bitty like tail hanging out of her mouth and I'm like no there's a mouse so TJ is dealing with that I'm not sure if it's still alive but it was alive whenever he took it out of her mouth and she is hardcore looking for this thing she's like dang it got away how did it get away 
So yeah, that was cool. It's never a dull moment having this cat. Never. Man, she's on the hunt, babe. I see that. Is it still alive? As soon as I sat down, it hopped like four or five feet away. I and walked up it and ran the hell away. away. <laughs> Jesus. So, <laughs> let's, let's, I don't have a clue what this dude just said. As always, I'm out of the swiven loop. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Ruben can introduce me. I'm a witcher. You need to talk to Siggy. None of your business. I need to talk to Siggy. Got some disgusting geekstra. I mean, Siggy Ruben. I think you can wait. Yeah, I probably can. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune, Jellock. Assassins! I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. <laughs> First ever party with my prick hanging out. <laughs> Security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were also scum. That's no, she's mad. <laughs> Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. <laughs> who pranced in right before the attack. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. <clears throat> Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam, you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial needs? <coughs> and the dwarf's cowl over S, no knows in entertainment, mostly. <clears throat> I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him follow, is a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusting when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the boys <coughs> rise, while I send my boys to Horse Son's hiding place. <coughs> They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horse Son? Find me first. Okay. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy, it's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. 
and his discreet a value in itself. Leave you to it then. I'll uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk in private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I'm a soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Ruben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. <coughs> Waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horseman's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Your partner's aware of your past? <coughs> they know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. <coughs> Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Kemmelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house, though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. <coughs> Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildor, but you'll have to enter through the pits and endure the stench of poverty on the way. Ah, of course. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got now to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's <laughs> expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't <coughs> find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. From Master Spy to Master Criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. 
both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah, except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I work for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> See yours, yeah, I noticed. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remained that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the lodge. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting Loot. down there with a goddamn trombone. Uh-huh. Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work, though you might throw some my way. Monster trouble. <coughs> sort of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish okay. what happened to him. Let's do that. Ah. Uh, you don't pay me to. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? <clears throat> no idea what you're talking about. You are the worst liar I have ever known. Glad I don't need you to win a poker game for me. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? <sighs> yeah, sure. What you need? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Pictures worth a thousand words and all that try. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what he is. Come on, man. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Said don't draw your sword. Oh no, I know, those are here. Okay. <clears throat> Be so kind as to follow me. Sorry, sorry. I tried to use the ladder. Less think, less think. 
but sadness. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. <laughs> Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Siggy bad take. Good Siggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Bolt behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. Oh God! Then boom! Charles would go! Translating into common, someone fucking made up with nearly 20 tons of my gold. And all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Oh. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? Uh, the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club. A bank uh -oh. initiated. For reasons that should be obvious. I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remain <clears throat> private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Okie dokie. But sorry. But jump that good. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly <laughs> bursting with enthusiasm. Which ah. mutations? They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins. Chest of emeralds, rubies, and topazes, silver candlesticks, and platters. I could go on. Shiny Jordan. Oh, God. Poor guy. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. <laughs> Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no! Boo! Oh! Bad look won't go! Bad look no! Only sleep! Bad shoes! Head full! Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, <coughs> mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers on the side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through all. What see? Boom! Got what? Breathe, shoom. Sleep, go. Jump on the gun. Bart, draw. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? <coughs> Boom! <coughs> this like. I'll elaborate. 
explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pots out it up and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Mind describing this something when it came out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewer's thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis, either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula, too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll <coughs> save your life, here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffer. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Dandelion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? She's like, humans, let me outside. There's Mises to be caught. Okay, so I guess I need to take the antidote. I'd use a witcher sense first. It's a potion. <coughs> nope. It's not an oil, because the oil's going on your sword. <coughs> Pops mold. Did I miss it? <laughs> I'm in the inventory. Yeah, but it might be a little slow for her. Oh, I know.
raspberry juice. I don't think it's any easy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Quit trying to maybe? Short keys. This is the last one in your potions. You sure? <clears throat> it says cat potion. This one's a blizzard. Golden Oreo. For the rest? <clears throat> Mirabar Forest. Black Blood. Petri's Filter. White Honey. The Golden. <clears throat> this one? Okay. <clears throat> okay. And then apparently I can make it? Just didn't see how you make it. It's not alcohol. <clears throat> oh. So I don't have to read it or anything. Okay. Great. The explosion crumbled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Last tore it from the wall. Of course it's locked. I'm a little concerned about taking the antidote, though. If I, um, <clears throat> it only works for 60 seconds. Not the right way to do this, but I want to eat it. Just kidding, can't do that right now. No, I did that. 
I did that. Yeah, this one I, I stuck, the golden oriole I stuck into my pocket. What's Lucy now? Uh, she's in the hallway. Oh, okay. She's probably <clears throat> still looking for the mouse. Probably. Lucy, we got rid of the mouse. You can get out of the hallway now. Lucy! Yeah, mouse is gone, kid. Mouse is gone. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so that doesn't mean I, st I can't still look for it. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I saved right before I walked through all of that um, Did you? fog, so. Good. did not equip that.
Damn you. My uh, my groove, man, like completely out. It's good. You took a week off. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I know. I need a Quinn. I'm 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 having a hard time right now. Sweet Jesus. You're like, damn it, do something. Like, don't just stand there. <laughs> All right, so I feel like I need to finish down before I go up. Nothing else around here. So, up we go. Yeah, that's not the button jump. Don't go, try again. Go. Uh, yeah, it's Dandelion. necessarily mean I can't I mean I'm assuming I can't actually I can't now for nope okay I tried what's the one where you blast the energy at it that's ard and I didn't do that alright let's try that again nope okay nope give it a shot the side of the break in. Okie dokie. Would that not be the side of the break in? No, it's telling me where to go. Okay. Traces of magic. 
This was no spell, it was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. You want me to go back through that? Okay, I didn't mean to. I was trying to take the other uh, thing, <clears throat> but yeah. Up, up. I'm installing a software update on my phone. Okay, babe. I have to do that too. life on the edge, Janelle. So I guess if you take too much potion, we die? Yes, which I knew. Are you naked again? sewers near your vault. Well. <coughs> Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bomb of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. This is no time to reminisce. You have to find my treasure, not write my biography. Oh, okay. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything Grumpy. at all? Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale with the crumbs. Hmm, I know the one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. 
trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. <laughs> yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Hmm. Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The oh. bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big, big boom. boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. Oh. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right. I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Nothing interesting here. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. jump so is that all I need to know about you let's see there's should I jump into it I don't know if you can yeah it doesn't seem like I can okay we'll come back to you Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. <clears throat> Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Either way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen, who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heights, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. <coughs> Henkel? That's impossible. <coughs> impossible? Why? Old Cook's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie. So the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Garrett, start looking into this.
fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Scruffy. Supposed to break that down. Footprints. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. From D. Your birth year could be dandelions or series. talking to Lucy. I was talking to Lucy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Janelle, I'm confused. What is the thingy? Go to the other. Am I just being stupid here? the thingy that uh, Triss gave me working. 
Because it like automatically does its thing. Secret room. Stain. Probably where Dandelion and his Colonel Oils planned the heist. That's weird. Decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my bush there was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. <coughs> we agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was all right. Trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just come in here? So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Merigo. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. <coughs> Hankel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. know you well enough to know what matters. Results. <coughs> so I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. Uh-huh. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But I kind of don't want to tell you that it was my buddy. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe <coughs> pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold. <coughs> 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 Sorry. <clears throat> Doubt Mango will admit anything willingly. 
As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive with my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. <coughs> Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <coughs> well, look, birds. I really must be going. Good luck. Okay. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we, you know. <laughs> Deekstra doesn't need to know about my love life. Wise. I'd never choose his shoulder to cry on either. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold. It's the last game keeps can. glitching out, and I'm like over here. Am I glossing over, or? Then he's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes Jeez. everything. Jeez, babe. Listen, meet me at midnight by the chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's barracks together. All right. See you then. Thanks. do a couple of like Ugh, contracts are my favorite I feel like we'll do a contract oh this one was I started it but I left it alone what's this one keeping the peace in overgrad was on the city guards only problem interesting Treasure hunts. Ugh, and I definitely have some failed too. I don't like saying failed. I think I'm gonna stop now, you guys. I'm kinda like I'm kinda just wanna go and lay down. That feels like a fun we're at like a good stopping point, I think. So I'm gonna save it. <coughs> I don't have a whole lot planned for tomorrow, so maybe I'll uh, I'll log in sometime tomorrow. We can we can figure this stuff out. Everybody, thanks for watching. Bye, Janelle. Bye, everybody else. Bye, have a good everyone. night.